like in the progression of like I'd say city builder, but also like a hub area and kind of a dense open world environment. And I'm saying yeah. this without having seen any gameplay. This could run 12 FPS and it's still gonna sell billions I mean, of copies. There is no gameplay for it uh, quite yet. It's just uh, been announced. But if it's like the previous Pokemon Legends, I hope there's more content. Oh. More content? Hopefully yeah. they're just more Pokemon Legends design. Was a, yeah, it was just a little bit barren. But hopefully that's a four plan for later games in that series, because I think there's a lot of potential there. And me way. We've got Grand Finals in order to get to before I start meandering about how Pokemon is consistently disappointing. Oh, you know what? This set isn't going to be disappointing, though. Melee no. coming all the way from his gray run and losers. How many sets is this? How many sets is this? This is a lot of sets. Uh, this is his fourth set in the losers bracket. How about that? Solid. Yeah. A great run. You know, you're playing a lot more sets, you know, just because you're going down to losers. But just because of that, you're warmed up. Gakamairari maybe took a little bit of a breather, you know. And then the first lock, you know, you take it, and they're looking pretty good. But Medley right here still having the setups. Yeah. It's gone, he's having to gone through two whole different sorts of projectile characters. You got the setup, the trap master with the duck hunt, and but they got the tune link, so they can do this. And just applying that pressure with the whip is something that I really like seeing from Melee. Like, just not always result in trying to find the true combo or the perfect trap, but rather just throwing out these forward airs and these back airs. They may not be active for very long, but you know you need that damage and you need to stop Duck Hunt from controlling the tempo with all of the tools that can litter the screen because look how much damage can be put on in the matter of moments. Now, on a personal level, Vaughn does not like this matchup. They find it oppressive, even That's for valid. someone as oppressive as their character. And when they were in Pittsburgh fighting like one of, I believe, one of uh, Pennsylvania's best like Belmonts, they were they were actually doing super well against them. People were shocked. And they're like, yeah, Melee's just that much better, which is why we got to get this boy out of here. Melee's built This boy has to go travel. Show people what Richter's got. Yeah. I remember seeing uh, their previous tag, Dark Falcon, uh, on glittering Wi-Fi brackets, taking a many uh, a Xeno onlines. My god. They beat the Wi-Fi allegations. Don't remind me of Wi-Fi, Richter. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't need that. Oh, I talked about Wi-Fi Victor for uh, very many sets. Uh, <laughs> I character. mean, here's the thing: Wi-Fi Victor offline is just faster, meaner. It's but reactable. <laughs> Fair, <laughs> and that is what separates a trapping character from a nuisance. Oh, I can react to these things now. Nuisance. Now this is a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> Tricky gameplay on the both sides, though, going for the uppy for the extra height. Man, both of these two are just neck and neck when it comes to percentages, but Vaughn is not going to fall for some of those uh, early traps. Wow, okay. That's huge information on the part of a, of a matchup like this where projectile versus projectile ends up mattering so much. Strong hit of cross can beat out multitude of duck hunts projectiles forcing different angles coming out from fawn and i think they were you know you notice that neutral Man, air so tough. they're kind of like with the low cartwheel in the air i think they're trying to use that to maybe beat out a cross and clank within the air it could have worked but melee doing the right thing just waiting before throwing anything out <laughs> look at that strong throw cross just invalidating the entire screen of uh, duck hunt projectiles Forcing just a forcing a return to neutral. What a push! But the SDI upwards from Fawn keeps her alive. Again, the back air barely whiffing, and we're back off stage. Fawn going for the edge guard, but not finding it, and you are off stage. Uh oh, man, we're back again at some level of neutral here. If you haven't noticed, this is last stock. A bear was last stock. Was last stock. What a tense last stock it was too. I wonder if it's going to be in the final stock replay. Because holy mo, is it close? Is it? It was really close. Boom, 118 boom. to 139. Oh, it's not. It's right oh. at the beginning here. This jump back air. There was a moment right before right. where there was, uh, there was like a forward air that Fawn barely missed. But this jump back air, yeah, is what sold Melly out because you are now hard reading and hard pushing instead of just applying situational and positional pressure. 
And by giving up that much space and allowing Farn to find a, uh, a retreat option in that moment, you relinquished all of the control that you gained for one big play. And it's not something you can do in a matchup like this where the little things and the little differences are going to be who ends up winning the day. And Vaughn's not a player who will panic jump out of shield. Goober was doing that. And Melee's used to fighting Goober now after those two sets. But Gok and Mirari, this is the first time they played them in bracket today. They have to readjust. And it's valid for a Toon Link player to want to be in the air. But Duck Hunt, a lot more measured, does not mind being on the ground whatsoever. Oh. Any one of these could just spell the demise of Melly. Any anything off stage is able to clip this Belmont. I mean, that's the game plan. Once Belmont is out, you just have to be aggressive. Be, so be aggressive. Got to pop the bubble. Yeah, but that's the thing about soap bubbles. If you don't pop it, it gets in your eyes and just stings. Ah. Exactly. <laughs> pop the bubble. No tears. That's lies. <laughs> Shout out to South Jersey. <laughs> Shout out to L'Oreal Fishes. <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline. Oh god. Maybe it's Tech City. That was a great tech. I'm worth it. <laughs> you are worth it. <laughs> oh, that House of 3000 is worth it. House of 3000. That's why you need to subscribe. <laughs> Actually, please. <laughs> oh. Only gone. you can keep the great content coming. I thought you were going to subscribe. I'm I, I saw you pull up the phone. I, I don't think I have. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to do that while on 20%. Yeah, yeah. 20 I need to get home. <laughs> That's right. USB-C? Hmm? USB-C? He just wants your subscription oh, at this no, point. Oh, no, no, no. My phone charger is all uh, messed up. Just so, like uh, Rari wants his next stock. <laughs> maintaining this lead at 148, 156. Bailey getting a taste of their own medicine here. Unable to actually get in. Only in a game like Smash can you see just a man equipped with all the vampire killing tools versus a dog and a duck and be like, man. He can't get in. Hey, you know that duck does. That dog, rather, has some uh, pretty pretty twofers. Maybe it's vampire dog. I mean, canonically, the dog's name is Cujo. His name is what? Cujo. Cujo? Yeah. Huh. Because he's rabid. It's like Jojo Duck Hunt. Jeez. Jotaro Cujo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's all a Jojo's reference. <laughs> Yo. Always has been. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the can placement from Fawn is just so, so nice. Able to intercept at just that perfect angle to in, uh, to stop Melee from throwing out uh, different jump forward airs and jump back airs. Are the gunman or the duck? The dog stand. The duck is the stand. Not the gunman. No, no the, uh, the guy off screen doing the smash attacks. That's the stance. Well, no. Wait. Right. The gunman... Oh, the, yeah, the, the gunmen the, pop in and like perform a special action while the duck is always there. Oh yeah. I mean, I guess it could be the summoning of the gunman is through the duck being the stand. Oh, just Maybe. like that, even stocks melee hoping to get one like, on the Because the duck is always <laughs> there, and that's the point. Get us back on track, so yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, No more JoJo's references. No more. <laughs> I never watched JoJo. It's pretty fun. I gotta watch. Legitimately it. pretty good, but. Regardless, final stock. Will the bracket end right here, right now, in this game? Melly sure doesn't want it to be with this alleged trap going on. Take this understanding that the jump is going to come out. Got to beat on those timings so that Vaughn delayed it even more. Uh, oh, just going for the back air. Not trying to risk an up air since uh, Belmont has that dive kick. Wants oh. to force off stage. He just rolled right into Vaughn's loving arms. Again, oh my god, the meaty can traps on these neutral getups. How many times is Melly going to try and risk that timing? Does so again, but at 136, this subsequent ledge trap needs to offer a lot. No jump on the part of uh Oh, oh Ooh, my god, toss caught it. the holy water? All right, not going to try catching that back. So just trying to avoid the can right into it. Ooh. The return of the cross, huge in that moment as we're forced off stage yet is again. You are and gone. it is! Gokka Mairari takes Zeno. The Gims always wins. Oh, and oh my God! A hug. That's nice. It was it was a well played game. Both sets down to the wire, uh, but it ends up being Fawn taking the W over a long and arduous couple games against Melly. I mean, you also have to. We saw Fawn sigh there, like a huge sigh of relief, a huge yeah. pump up, and you have to realize that Fawn has a habit 
of getting third place, second place, always the runner up, never the one to take the tournament. Yeah. They rarely take it. That's, They've I, gone third that's true, at right? Failsafe. They got like third in Pittsburgh. And even like at Waypoint Cafe, they usually get like fifth all the way up to yeah, like third or second. they were second at the last homecoming as well. Exactly. To oh, so to take yeah. Zeno, that's huge. That's an amazing accomplishment. Yeah. Really just get back on track and into that winning mentality that is so important nowadays in uh, Smash Ultimate and in competitive mindsets in general. Don't go in overconfident, but go in with the mentality that you can win any set that you encounter. Oh, and that's you know true what? love right there. You get a little bit of brotherly love to show for it at the end of the day. Uh, very well played on the part of uh, uh, Fawn, Gakamai, Rari, Gimmer, whatever you want to call it, uh, and Melly. But it will be Fawn taking it 2-0, not dropping a set here at Xeno number 333. Oh, could we see the bracket? We'd love to see everybody's Let's run there. Beak. Because uh, Melee had a phenomenal loser's yes. run. I think that was the most exciting story of the night. Yeah, uh, Goober beating uh, Melee and Numbers. Numbers and pools into Melee. Uh, Let's go! Let's go! We got the number one winner you... here in production. Woo! Uh, Fawn only dropping a one game in top eight. <laughs> Hold on, we'll, we'll get the camera on yeah, here. Yeah, the camera's... Yeah, yeah, there we go. There she is. Yeah! Woo! W's taken. W's earned on this side of Xeno, three, uh, Xeno Weeklies, which happens. Oh. Oh, it might be a little funky since we got back there. up. There we go. Never there. mind. There we go. We're back. There we go. At which happens, my transition, every single Wednesday here at the 21 Ludlow Street Xeno Zero Gaming Cafe. You can catch all of the action at twitch.tv slash house of 3000. You can find all of the updates of what is going on the mainstream by following Devin3000 at Devin3000, hashtag free house of 3000. They really do need their Twitter. And of course, the bracket is start.gg slash Xeno. And Devin, we gotta ask how many VODs were collected today? Um, uh, let me check. Stand by for that one. All right, while we stand by, if you want even more VODs, you gotta come down to Bombs. It's the big grind sesh every single Monday, 7 p.m. right here. Again, 21 Ludlow Street. The cheap, cheap price of $10. There's no, well, there's a 64 player cap, no pools, and all of your sets are streamed and recorded and uploaded to the House of 2000 YouTube. I believe, including the stream matches, we got about 60 VODs tonight. 60 VODs for a local on a Wednesday night. On just a Wednesday night with however many players there were. There was like 30-some players, right? It's, it's more VODs yeah, probably like than Genesis. More VODs than Genesis. Unironically true. Yeah. 40 players. 64 VODs. It's a lot. And all of the important ones, almost all of top 24 getting recorded, all of top 6, some most of pools doing an all incredible All of top 24. Uh, I, I don't want to see the recorded. number of VODs we're going to have, though, for Xeno Saga. Number 52 of Saturday, March 9th. It's the last weekend before Collision, so you want to come out, get your practice. I think we're going to have more than 100 entrants. People want to get that grind in. Hope so. Right before Tri-State major and one as biggest collision shaping up to be gonna be an exciting one to see i know i'm gonna try and come out to it just like you and you can register right now at starts with gg slash xeno saga uh, uh, but oh. you know obviously all of this is possible thanks to house of 3000 the wonderful people who do production every week on wednesdays mondays online xeno saga majors regionals they honestly do it all. You can hire them for your events at events at House of 3000 at NYC. Nothing is beneath them. They'll Send do us, anything. Uh, we're, we're trying to... Uh, I don't know. Should I even... Yeah. Should, I should probably not mention this because I'm trying to do like a business talk. But I mention it. Come on. To just, well, I don't know. It's probably not the proper thing to do. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're, 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 trying, we're trying to yeah. get, uh, you know, we're trying to diversify yeah. is what we're trying to I, say. So I will say... Hire them for your events. Yeah. For, for, for Collision, we'll be powering uh, the mainstream on Ultimate, and uh, Melee will be on our channel on House 3000. Wow. And, uh, yeah, and then there's CT Game Con uh, two weeks after that. Cool. So... We're busy. It's hype. It's Full cool. Bloom was this last weekend. Uh, for anyone who is watching right now who did watch Full Bloom, uh, I'm going to be uploading like the remaining 170 fonts uh, this week. So, all the Rip fonts. to your bandwidth. Yeah. Thank you, Fios. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Shout out to, Shout out to you.
<laughs> Get fucked, Spectrum. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> hey, I've never had problems with Spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> you would be the one and only. The one uh, and only, baby. If you're looking for more updates as a competitor, you're going to want to make sure to follow not only Devin on Twitter, but also Hassle 2000 on Blue Sky. Follow the stream and subscribe for all of the updates, all the VODs. Go to youtube.com slash 2000 and all of the immediate instant updates relating to anything House of 3000 related, you can get at their Discord, which is house3000.nyc slash Discord. So, that's going to do it here tonight for Xena number 333. I've been Ubel, joined by Swiss. Any last thoughts? Honestly, I had an amazing time. I always have an amazing time every time single here, week. Yeah, like, no matter how small the bracket, no matter how big the bracket, people come out, they play their hardest. Even on a rainy night like this, everyone showed up. You know Seriously, what? It's Fuck the it. of my uh, we're trying time. to do production for Low Tier City, Low Tide City. Yo! Yo! All right. Give us your energy. Tweet at us or, uh, or tweet at them. I'll be like, man, how's we doing production for that? With something right? Fucking big vouch, big vouch. Yeah. Yeah. Can we just flood their mentions with vouchers? For for a stadium be, be sick. for a uh, arena, not arena, for a venue like Low Tide City and the amount of support that it gets, potentially the last Low Tide City. No, as well. that's what they're saying. It's yeah. okay, but it'll be replaced by High Tide City. Could be. Whoa. Those times there are high. A lot of faith in the uh, tourney locator team out in Texas, but if they're looking for the best production, then no one you, doesn't like three thousand. You know the guys you gotta look for. <laughs> yeah, I've traveled around. I've seen other people do production, and it's good. It's not at this level. It's not House of Three Thousand level. That's right. We got the touch, baby. The All magic right. touch. The three thousand touch. And with that, we'll see y'all next week right here. Have a good night, everybody. Peace.